Peggy 12. Our time-based challenges are about getting from A to B in the shortest amount of time, and there are two main ways to approach this. Firstly, a considered, careful approach, where you take out all the Death Eaters in front of you and make your way through the world. And the other way is to run, is to run for your life, is to get through that obstacle course, avoiding those Death Eaters and Snatchers any way you can, ducking, diving, and hoping that you make it to the finale without that last minute disaster. It's not about pitch battles, it's not about stopping to fight, it's about taking bad guys down as quickly as you can, and the player can use all the spells uh, that they have available to them, but the best ones that they can use are quick to fire spells that don't cause them to stop. The other option they have is to find and pick up potions like exploding potions and garroting gas, and they're very quick to throw. Garrotting gas is a great offensive potion because it literally chokes any enemy that's in the vicinity. The trouble is, if it bounces off the wall, you end up choking yourself, so that can be a really, really dangerous approach. Don't underestimate the value of potions in the game. Some of them can restore your health almost immediately, and some of them can actually protect you for quite a while after you've drunk them. You always want to be looking out for and picking up the blood replenishing potion and the uh, elixir of life, as they will make sure that you live for longer. A great potion, if you can find it, is Felix Felicis. All your shots get more accurate, and the enemy, miraculously, can't hit you. The guys with the purple glowing wand tips have got Confringo, and if they hit the player, they can knock him down, which then slows him down, because it's all about getting to the, the final point as quickly as you can. So spells that can be fired from the hip when Harry's running are especially effective. Spells like Expelliarmus, which are slow to cast, or Confringo, or Confundus, will only slow the player down. They'll have to stop to cast, which will give them a worse time if they're not running, which they need to be to get the fastest time possible. Make sure that you're aware of what it is, what's the target you actually need to accomplish. Is it based on time or is it based on scoring? Because obviously we track both, because actually it's another way of being able to compare your, your, the way you play against your friends. A challenge is break into easy, medium and hard, and you have the opportunity to get up to five stars on each one. And above that, we also have online leaderboards, so you can pay your scores against your friends and also the very, very best in the world.